With their colored jerseys, the riders look like a rainbow stretched down the road, but the color any rider dreams to wear is the yellow. The prologue is organized to determine who starts the race as a virtual leader. All eyes are on Fabian Cancellara, who already won a prologue in Liège in 2004 and wishes to renew the exploit. Francis Sylvain Chavanel gives a little hope to see a local in the lead as he concludes the course very fast, but Bradley Wiggins finishes 42 hundredths faster. That was close. At least the regrets don't last as Cancellara overpowers his contestants. The Swiss takes the yellow jersey for a while as the following stages are flat. It allows his team radio shack Nissan to shine before the supremacy changes. Cancellara is even close to win the first stage in Surin, only the impetuous Victor Sagan of Slovakia decided otherwise. Sagan may not be ready for a yellow jersey, but he sure aspires to take the green one. At 22 years old for his first Tour de France, Sagan wins the first stage of the event. The Liquiga sprinter beats the time trial Olympic champion and intends to win a few more stages. After an intermission at stage 2 and a win for Cavendish, the Sagan saga resumes for stage 3 to Boulogne-sur-Mer. While Chavanel tries a kamikaze attack on Cancellara, Sagan waits patiently and once again finishes ahead of the yellow jersey. That makes it 2. Andre Greipel decides to challenge the newcomer. At 29 years old, the German took his first stage win in 2011 in Carmo. This time around, he pictures himself in green at the Champs-Élysées. With Cavendish out of form, the chance is real. In the stage to Rouen, the British sprinter is even caught in a crash 25 kilometers from the finish line. Sagan and Greipel are both clear and the fight can take place. Greipel deposes the new prince, Sagan 2, Greipel 1. An equalizer would give more suspense. Stage 5 to Saint-Quentin illustrates the absence of Cavendish and the difficulties of Cancellara. This time Sagan and Farah are caught in a crash. Grapel has no opponent to dispute the stage win. The Lotto Bellasol sprinter doesn't miss the opportunity and wins his second stage as the first two-stage win streak in the Tour since 2010. At the time, it was Cavendish. Now the two men tied, the match carries on. Sagan flies to triumph the following day in Metz. Despite his poor lead out, the Slovakian pedals in Grapel's back wheel and overtakes him in the last meters. Now Sagan leads 3-2. The Alps give a break to the sprinters match. The verdict is for stage 13. Echelons have cut the pack in two and the Mont Saint-Clair freezes the positions. Yet both men are together at the end. Greipel overpowers Sagan and there is no discussion. The match ends in a tie, but Sagan is at the top of the sprinter's classification and keeps the green jersey. It's not bad for a first tour. While Sagan and Grapel were playing the green jersey contest, the overall classification smoothly changed. It was a smooth change because it was meant to be. In the Planche de Belfi ascent, the terrain leaves no alternative. Cancellara has to surrender after a week in yellow. The climb, called Planche de Belfi, pretty girl's plank, is merciless. It is 1,035 meters above sea level, a little too high for Cancellara's ambitions. Cat 11 suffers the same fate. Chris Froome decides who is in for the party, and obviously it's his leader, Bradley Wiggins. The strategy is clear. Wiggins knows it's his time, one week into the race. Now he has to prove he deserves the leadership. As a great time trialist, Wiggins pulls out a show in Besançon, taking his revenge from the Liège prologue. So far, the gap with Cat Evans was small enough to be filled. This time it's over. The 1 minute 40 conceded by the Australian Hertz. Evans loses his crown in Besançon. And Evans doesn't even recover in the mountain. He holds on in the first Alp stage between Macron and Bellegarde. He's in the pack, but can only witness Tom Avocler's spectacular success. The worst is still to come for the title holder.
As another Frenchman, Pierre Roland, wins the following stage, this time Cadal Evans vanishes. In the last 10 kilometers, he loses 1 minute 26. The Australian is not going to bounce back and has to forget about a new title. The tour is now over. The maillot jaune and the green jersey both go to new owners, Wiggins and Sagan. And a week to the Olympic, Wiggins offers Great Britain a first Tour de France crown.